Today we're gonna be creating this crazy mixed media effect. I gotta go grab a printer, some crayons. This is gonna be more of a vlog style video showing you guys along the process. Let's go. I clean my car so bad, it's such a mess. Look at this shit, there's like bits of a protein bar just chilling. It's kind of funny because I actually used to work at Staples back in the day. I would sell printers. I was pressed so hard to like sell warranties and upgrades and all the printers. And here I am now buying one for this YouTube video, which is kind of funny. I spent a lot less than I thought I was gonna spend. It was like $100 Canadian altogether, which is sick because I could make multiple videos with this. So let's go home, bust everything open and see what we can come up with. Also might have to go snag an iced coffee from McDonald's. Yeah, can I get a large vanilla iced coffee, please? Yeah, anything else? That's all, thank you. Alright, thank you so much. You too. The bag has been secured. We've got the beautiful printer set up down below, as you guys can see. Looking so fine. Come on now. I've got the camera set up with the down pointing angle. We're gonna put our pictures there. Now, all we have to do is open up our music video in our editing software of choice. Transition, we are inside of the Sofago concert recap video project file that I did a few weeks ago. We're gonna be adding the mixed media effects inside of this, which I think would look super cool. Starting off with this intro frame here, we're gonna be doing a little bit on this segment here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to effects and search up posterize time. We're gonna drag and drop that on the clip that we wanna do the effect on. And if we go over to, uh, to effect controls, it's gonna be preset to 24 frames per second. We're gonna cut that in half by 12. If we play it through frame by frame, it's just gonna give us that cool effect when we do put the paper in here so it doesn't match the actual frame rate of the video. It's gonna be a bit slower. It really blends the effect together well. And this one we have one, two, three, four, five, six, different frames. Now what we're going to have to do, as you guys can see, this video isn't actually 1080p format. It's in a square format. We're going to go up to sequence, sequence settings and change it from the resolution we have here to 1920 by 1080. Hit OK. Now what we're going to do is export these frames here frame by frame by going ahead and clicking on this camera down here, hitting browse and saving it where you want it to be saved. Then we're going to call this first one here one. Hit OK. We're going to move on to our next one. Same thing. Call it two. Hit OK. All right, guys, so now that we have all of our frames exported here, we're going to go ahead and open Photoshop. Now that we have Photoshop opened here, we're going to be using this template to make sure that our frames are in order for when we print them out and do effects in them. So you guys can download this linked in the description below. It's going to be absolutely free. Now, what we're going to do is go over to our frames, highlight all of them and drag and drop them in here. Just hit enter for all of them, making sure they go in in order. Now we're going to highlight all of them as well. Right click and we're going to rasterize the layers. Now, starting off with the first one here, what we're going to do is pressing Control T. We're going to make sure it's on a 90 degree angle and we're going to sync it up in line with this one right here, just like that. And now for the next one, you're going to do the exact same thing. On this template, you can do it for up to 12 frames. And if you do need to do more, you can just duplicate the template and throw in more. Now, the next step is we're going to turn off this background image here. We're going to save this here. Now with a trusty printer I bought today, we're going to open up our printing app here, changing it to portrait, full page, scroll down more settings. And I'm just going to change it from normal to best quality. And then we're going to go ahead and hit print. Alrighty, so our frames are now printed out as you guys can see. I'm gonna go ahead and put them down here on top so you guys get the full view here. Alright, so it's looking beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and start drawing on this thing. Now, the key thing is you wanna have animations go over time. So we'll start a little bit here, a little bit more here, a little bit more here, and then when we get to the last one, we'll make it look crazy. Go with a pink, throw on a white as well, and then maybe we'll go with like a baby blue here. Perfect. Now, starting with the first one here, I'm gonna go ahead and just draw lightly around them with a little bit of pink. Let me get a little bit of that effect there. And for this next one here, we'll do the same thing. We're gonna go a little bit harder here and make it a little bit more intense. I'm just gonna continuously do the same thing. Now, if we move over to our white here, I think we can just kind of scribble around on them. There's no specific way to do this, just be creative with it. Honestly, I'm just kind of going crazy right now. I really like the way these blue lines are looking on this one here. So I'm gonna like kind of scribble it around a little bit more that all right so i think we have kind of a cool product here you guys can see that did not take that long now what we're going to do now is go ahead and take a screen grab of this if you guys are wondering what this looks like from the other angle here this is back on my camera you guys can see we have all these accents here i think it's cool just to kind of have stuff like that 3d popping out now it's totally up to you guys if you guys wanted to do it as a video or if you guys wanted to do it as a photo i prefer doing it as a video because it's just a little bit easier for me but we're going to take that and bring it into premiere pro here and we're going to go to where we had the first one focused on so just like that we're going to take a screen grab of it call it one and then import it into the project 
All right, now that we have all of our grabs here, we're gonna go into our project and put them into our timeline. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to look for the individual cuts. So grab one is obviously gonna be there. Grab two, grab three, four. And you guys get the point of this. I'm just going through and aligning them to the actual areas. Boom, just like so. And then we're gonna play with our rotation by making it 180 to actually align it there. And if we go ahead and zoom in here, you guys can see, boom, just like that. We have that set. And I'm gonna press Control C on this. Highlighting all of these, I'm gonna press Control Alt V. And I'm going to paste the motion and opacity here. Now, if we go over, we can just realign this one here like that. And then realign this one. Then we can get this really cool mixed media effect. So we're going to highlight all of them and bring them above our LUTs and color them ourselves here. Go over to this first one, for example. Let's go ahead and turn up the contrast of it, of course. Turn the highlights down. We don't want to lose these textures here. So if we go ahead, bring in the shadows, turn up the saturation. Also play with the tint, adding a little bit of green. Then we're going to copy this and apply it to the rest of the ones here, just making sure we have lumetri color check. And yeah, guys, we'll get a crazy effect just like this. I'm going to mess around a little bit more with this in my videos for sure. I love the way these textures are looking here. And maybe next time, I think I'm going to take a high resolution photo of it with my camera. I just couldn't do that right now for the sake of this tutorial. But I do recommend you guys do that so you're not missing out on any of these textures and accents. If you guys did enjoy this vlog-esque kind of video of me trying out a new effect I've actually never done before, leave a like and comment what you guys want me to do next. I love doing these mixed media effects. I actually had a lot of fun doing it. So let me know and I can bring more of these to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I recommend checking out this video linked right here. Subscribe as well. I'm going to be uploading every single day. Thank you guys. Peace.